Indiana Pacers at the Philadelphia 76ers. Right now, Pacers are five point dogs, uh, plus 165 on the money line, total sitting at 239 and a half. And try and put away my Homer hat, but man, this Sixers team looks good. They're gelling. They're, yeah, it's almost like uh, if you're in a bad relationship, you break up and then you get in the best shape of your life. I feel like that's what the Sixers team is doing uh, right now post James Harden. They're like, oh, no Harden? We're going to play super hard. We're going to make sure everyone knows it was James Harden. And uh, Nick Nurse is coaching, I think, really well. I mean, Maxi just had a 50 point game against the Pacers, eight and one to start the season. Uh, first time uh, since uh, 2021, 2020, uh, 2021 season. I mean, I I just think they're playing great ball right now at home. This number feels a little short. Now, Joel Embiid is dealing with hip soreness. He is questionable. I'm gonna say he still plays. Uh, with the numbers here sitting at minus five, but definitely keep an eye on that one. But I, I mean, noobs, uh, feels like a good spot for the Sixers here, right? I mean, I, ca- I can't fade them until I see something otherwise. They're playing great. I will have to say that a lot of blame is being haved on James Harden, as it should be. But let's not forget Glenn Rivers. The yeah. biggest part about Nick Nurse is he let them pass the ball again. Tobias Harris doesn't just have to stand in the corner and wait politely for something to happen. It's Can I, can it's, I have the ball, please? <laughs> yes. I could be happier as a fan. It's what I've wanted from the team for years and years and years. Uh, we talked about a bunch already, the Harden trade. I was just like, let's just get, get him out of there, give Maxi the ball, and just sort of let it happen. It's been a, a ton of fun, but I think this is a tough spot here, Sean, because like you mentioned, Joel Embiid's questionable and tomorrow night, the Sixers play the Boston Celtics and if there was ever a spot for a little bit of rest nonsense here, a little bit of, you know, let's take Embiid and put him down and make sure he's nice and good and ready to go for the Celtics, it would be tonight. Now, Embiid does love playing against Indiana. There's something about beating the the crap out of Miles Turner that just really brings joy to him. But I would be a little worried about that. And I will say the line is odd. When I look at this, the spread looks like kind of an Embiid's most probably in spread, but the total at 239 and a half is huge. Uh, I'm, that tells me that Embiid is out. So I'm struggling to figure out kind of what the valuation is here. If Embiid is out over all the maxi props, all that good stuff. Um, if Embiid is in, you know, Sixers, I think are a great bet. Yeah. And maybe I'm, maybe I'm the rabbit, you know, like walking into the trap, but that carrot looks so good. I, I gotta, I gotta try for it here. Uh, Chris, how say you on uh Pacer Sixers? Any, any thoughts on this matchup? The rabbit and the carrot metaphor. I like that, Sean. Yeah. yeah. Um, I guess this would be the spot for me to not play in the Sixers as well. You know, we saw a line was at seven and a half in their in their previous game, so it's down to five now, which is a little respect for the Pacers too, right? They they still put up a ton of points in that last game. They run the floor, uh, you know, and they can catch any team kind of in that in maybe a spot that's not so ideal for the 76ers. But um, I kind of do agree with you, Sean. I mean, it's, it's, it, why fade a team? You know, it's kind of like why play on the Clippers right now? Why fade the 76ers right now and what they're doing and how unified they're playing as a team? If they don't have Embiid, this could still be a game that they win, uh, and I would say it would be an even faster paced game if that's the case. So, uh, you know, maybe look for another over on this one. They scored a ton of points in that first matchup, uh, and I'm, I'm sure the 76ers are looking forward to the Celtics, but not a lot of other thoughts on this. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I would say hold off before betting on this until you hear about Embiid, but to your point, if Embiid is ruled out and the number goes down even more, I, I still like it because I do think the role players uh, might be able to handle this Pacers team, especially at a shorter number here. So uh, I'm I'm going out. Uh, I'm, I'm playing dangerous here. Give me the Sixers minus five. Lock it up for me at home. Let's go. 